Cool. <laughs> it's got Tourette's, man. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, how you doing, people? Uh, we are, if you didn't Imperium. know, we're, we're going through the four tracks of our EP coming out on the 23rd of September. Um, and this is the third one, Desperate Screams. And it stinks in it. Why? Who fires? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's shagged. It's all so we'll coming out of the bottom of that chair. Yeah, like just <laughs> I think it's just group BO. No, 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 no. I'll fight. We're a very hygienic band. Yeah. Um, Except for Rapper, with his armpit infection. Uh, that's another story. Show your boys, man. man. It's not the yeah, camera. That's the next EP, man. We'll make a song about bacteria on your armpit. <laughs> Guy, man. Don't turn up for a studio two weeks in a row because he had a hole in his armpit. I had a, a marble shaped lump. But let's I talk about how that lump came about, shall we, rapper? <laughs> because <laughs> he shaved his armpits and he got an ingrown hair. How big was the hair like that? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he got infected with uh, something called staph bacteria, which lives on your skin. Oh, okay. so, like, so we've all be, got it. Be yeah, yeah. If you've oh, been right. around me, you probably have it. Oh, shit. But, like, uh, yeah. A good segue into this My head's just screaming desperately. Anyways, <laughs> you're screaming desperately. <laughs> screaming desperately. Screaming desperately, man. But yeah, no, what the, what happened with this one? Uh, I can't remember the beginning of this one. So what was it called? We started off oh, by it's... calling it Timothy. No, it was Fresh Fresh, fresh man. <laughs> no, New New Fresh. New New, new, new Fresh. 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 Was Capable new, new was fresh. New Fresh. Capable was New That's Fresh. Right. So this was New New, new Fresh. New Very new invented fresh. fucking song, that one. Hey, working yeah. titles mean something, man. <laughs> yeah. We know what they are. Apart from the fact that every time we were like on the board, what one's new fresh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you came in with what? Well, again, it was just a, uh, it was a quick process. It was just uh, uh, come up with a riff. The it's a naughty riff, man. Yeah, and I think what I found quite interesting about this song was like pretty much the whole way through, we're playing the same notes, but in in a different rhythm. Are we? Yeah. Like yeah. The verse. <laughs> And yeah. the chorus, the verse, the chorus, and the middle parts are all the same notes. But just play differently. Play differently. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck! And I, was, and I think even the uh, the middle bit as well. It's like it goes into a completely different, in a completely different direction. But it's still the same the notes. The song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just rapper. It's pretty. Yeah. No, it's uh, that's interesting because I never knew that. Yeah, I mean, I probably knew it, but I didn't. No, well, it is. When you watch this back, you'll find out. <laughs> I'm literally putting it up like that. There is no editing going on in this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, so you came in with that, and it was. I don't know how far along it was before it became. Right, this is the one to go to next. I think it's quite a quick song, to be fair. I think. Yeah. I remember, like, yeah. I think Harder came up with that one first, Did and then it, Capable. Wasn't it? it was these were so quick, weren't they? Because that's why it was just brash and new, new, fresh. Mm. Because yeah. Yeah. it was. They came out quite quickly, and we yeah. started working on them both sort of slowly together, didn't we? Yeah. This was a dope one, though, man. I Do enjoy this one a lot. As we said in that little write we did a couple of weeks ago, because um, it was so close to Capable, they yeah. kind of had the same intros, didn't they? Yeah. And we'd never play them <coughs> next to each other in the set list. They weren't the same, but we didn't like how similar they were. Well, so just thinking about obviously Hart makes that yeah. riff, then I brought in the big opening chords, mm. and then um, we your we changed. He's something four two is in a four four. <laughs> I finally contributed to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but like, no, I'm just saying, like, we're talking about the whole process of how it developed. Actually, yeah. to be fair, we've got like five bars instead of four bars. Yeah. For the verse. So oh yeah, yeah, this is the weird one. We yeah, the verse is yeah. five bars. Oh, yeah. oh, that was because I just thought it was going to be like that. Why was it so weird that we had, that we added that extra? Because I think. Yeah. I think I recorded it wrong. I recorded oh, did it. Oh, yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> so then you put lyrics to it. Yeah, yeah, lyrics to it. Yeah. yeah. And you were like, no, no, no it's less. And I was like, that can't be now. I've written these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's so unusual, but it almost feels like even though it's exactly the same thing, it feels like it's a bridge. It, yeah. It feels like a bit of a yeah, bridge. Yeah, even though it's the course, same yeah. riff, it doesn't. It's like four bars. Then that because you sing it differently, it's almost like a bridge. Then it goes to the chorus. Well, we change it now, don't we? Though we change the tail end of it with the oh, little. Yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, really but up, yeah, but yeah, but again, that then, was yeah. only just before the recording. Playing yeah. it live for a year, it was just that one riff. But like, uh, the subject of the song is probably the funnier one. So <laughs> I, I think like because it, it initially sounded quite dark and maybe grey and dingy, and it reminded you of uh, an orphanage. Yeah, but and that's what 
Right. So oh, we were yeah. like, we were like, yeah, cool, orphanage, yeah, yeah. fucking horrible, like kids left on their own, suffering. And he comes up with him. Because <laughs> oh, I, I didn't write it about kids, though, I wrote it about dogs. No, you said. <laughs> that was your initial idea. And yeah. You said, like, I want, it, I want it to be about, like, an orphan dog. Right? And we yeah. said, like, yeah, that's fine, as long as, you know, like, pe you, people can, like, interpret it their own way, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> but no, he goes full hog. Yeah. He calls it Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm named the dog. <laughs> so, like, <I'm> <laughs> with the. <laughs> With, oh, the, with the chorus. It's going to ruin the whole power of this. No! It's, it, it worked, man. I went off it, right? And I, and I, 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 I had um, a Black Sabbath song, um, Junior's Eyes, in my, in my head when I was thinking of this sort of like concept of it. Right. And uh, I was like, oh, fuck, that's cool, man. I like the way they were like, Junior's Eyes, look up to the skies. And I thought you needed literally right. a dead <laughs> <laughs> Junior's <laughs> Eyes. Lawsuit. <Lord, Lord laughs> <Sue. laughs> uh, no, that was, that's not the, not the melody, but like, Vocally, I was like, uh, lyrically, I was like, okay, I like this. But I, like, I was like, ah, oh, my dog's from an orphanage. I was thinking about doing something about a dog one day. So it all came together like that. And I thought, <laughs> fuck it. What, so this bad, the, the, what's the, what's the intro for the... Yeah, so I was like, okay. Banana. 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 So... <laughs> In oh, my head, <laughs> I went for a name for the dog, so I just thought of going for Timothy, and I thought it was absolutely fine. Have you ever met a dog called Timothy? Right? Exactly. Who calls a dog Timothy? <laughs> it's such a, it's such a like, middle aged white man. Oh, right, I thought it's a name, but the name went with the song, with the, with the thing. So I was like Timothy. Yeah. So when you hear that, needs to be desired. <laughs> so. And we. It was like the same as capable. He free text me again. You tell me nothing worse. He's done it again. Up here. <laughs> <'Cause> me, <laughs> me and Ben are like so similar. We don't clash, but we can't. We can't talk about that sort of thing. So if I. If they me and Ben, me. if we're crashing, I go, hold it, <laughs> send this to Ben. <laughs> and then Ben's like, oh yeah, cool, that's fine. If I say it, it's fucking World War Three. <laughs> no, I think we said to you, we're like, uh, I think, you, yeah, yeah, so you, you said you didn't like the idea of giving a name to the orphan. And to be honest, it, was, it made it too <laughs> obvious. But um, I think that very same night, I'd come up with Desperate Screams. Instead. I think I think I said Desperate Screams. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I think because it was like we were saying about being desperate, so it was like desperate screams. I'm no, pretty sure it was me. I'm unseen. I'm unseen. Yeah. I'm unseen, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I said I'm unseen. And there's a kind of desperate screams. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold my hands up. <laughs> I don't think you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew, what I'm saying is I knew that I'd gotten away from the right direction. I've gotten away from saying Timothy. That's all that matters. Because even I'm unseen is better than Timothy. Timothy! Yeah. <laughs> and I think like we come into the studio and we were like nervous about what Ben was going to sing next. <laughs> but he sung Desperate Screams and we were like, that fits in perfectly. But look, do you know what the beauty of the lyrics is? Like, first I've always said, like, when I've seen your lyrics, lyrically, you it's like poetry, yeah? But the beauty of music is you interpret it different, don't you? So even if you wrote it about an orphan dog, I still hear that and I imagine a man abandoned with no one to love him yeah. and losing his shit at the end. Yeah. I like think that, that last verse you sing is fucking unreal. I like I like that. I don't I don't try and go out of my way to do that, but I love how people take the lyrics differently. Like your the best one was the last EP, really. Like there was all the songs I wrote about, right? The passing's obvious. Here What's comes a night. I wrote out. I wrote a I wrote a song about going out and having a good time. Hard it took it as well, no, 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 no. <laughs> me and Hard took it as addiction and like oh the sun comes up again I've got to start drinking I can't function without a drink and we're like this is really powerful and you're like man it's about going having a fucking good time <laughs> <laughs> nothing about it is fucking about having a good time no. <laughs> to me and Hard it sounds like a geezer struggling with addiction and here comes a night he fucking starts drinking and partying again right but th that's the thing right I've, just, I've just literally yeah, I know it's just what I'm saying I like it right it, it works in both but that's ways. the beauty is it works that's the cool thing right the, <clears throat> and Ragnarok I literally wrote that about the end of the world like depicting what I would have thought one man would be going through if he was seeing the end of the world but you took it in another direction and was like 
Ah, I, I, I saw one of the good times. <laughs> 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 no, you said it was about actually one man sort of like in like depression and stuff like that. I was like, fuck yeah. me, that really does work. Because if you took the concept of Ragnarok to one person, yeah. it, really, it, reality, in reality, that is kind of that. It I'm sounded like, like uh, to me, it sounds like someone's trapped within their, inside their yeah. self, inside their head, yeah. and they can't communicate to the outside, or they can't, they don't know how to communi- communicate it, their issues or problems yeah. to it's anyone else. Cool. I, love, I love how yeah. that happens. And then, what was the last one I last did you? Deceived. 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 That was, that was blatantly obvious about it, just being pissed off with work and shit. I think, anyway. No, I took that as orphan dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. I'm deceived. <laughs> you said they're going for yeah. walk. But yeah, deceived lyrics were just, I, I just put them around, you know, someone struggling with being not allowed to Abandoned. leave where they are, even though they'd probably be better off on the streets, chilling out. This is talking about the dog. You mean desperate, not deceived. Sorry, desperate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how the the right. It's funny you've done that because now we can highlight the fact that how many times when we're going through the set list yeah. and he says, right, what's next to see? But like, no, it's desperate. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's desperate, he's saying it's to see. <laughs> fucking. <sighs> Don't put two songs with the same fucking letter next well, to you. Well, you fucking made it up. You right, know. I can't name any more songs with D. <laughs> no, okay. You named them. <laughs> I didn't name Deceived, actually. That was one of you, I think. One of you. There's more than one of me. Hello, me. Hello, me. Me, thrill me. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll take credit again. I think I called it Deceiver. <laughs> oh, because I wanted to call it Deceiver. That's why. Uh, oh, yeah, because it was plural. Yeah. But, yeah. Deceiver was like an individual. Yeah. He's he's the deceiver, whereas actually, if you look, at it, it's a collective of people being deceived. Yeah. That's why I call it Deceiver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, back to, remember, back back to, to Desperate, though. Yeah, well, we digress. Um, what uh, the fuck happened when we took it live? Because we've done that before we recorded this one. The um, it, it didn't develop that much, did it? It was kind of fucking good to go. We had no solo, did it? It was just all Oh, rhythm. shit. Yeah, there was no solo. There was no solo. No, no. It was just a little and breakdown. There was no, was like, dual guitars, nothing. No. It was kind of... Very raw, wasn't it? It was what it was. So yeah. much so that it was one of those songs that... <laughs> bass wise, I just... I play E. Uh, <laughs> Four guitars. <laughs> no, in four four. To be fair, yeah, in four four, except for the, the fifth bar. No, no, to be fair, like for the C, the uh, we changed it up quite a lot for the recording. Like, yeah. We came up with like the oh, intro. Mate. We were a bit nervous about this one because we kind of room. come up with things like the week before. We changed it so much so that after the recording, we didn't play it live for a few times. <clears> it was like, yeah, oh, oh so we did change it a lot then. Massively before the yeah, recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, before yeah. the recording, but not didn't live. Yeah. Didn't have the intro. Nah. Is it in- yeah, well, that's what I was getting at earlier. Yeah, because the intro either. was so similar to Capable, we yeah, was like, we've got to do something different, and then you can't do that. Yeah. That yeah. intro's sick, though. But it does, uh, I think yeah, the strumming chords yeah. are the best part of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my idea. Because I, I wanted to keep the origins of the big power chords, you know? <laughs> keep the power chords alive, man. <laughs> There's not enough strumming in this song. <laughs> yeah. it's kind of, we kind of changed it for the sake of, like, uh, keeping it different from Capable as well, because structure was quite similar to that mm. yeah so you need to kind of well, it helps to have like the recording looming uh like in, in the horizon because then you actually sit down and kind of yeah. pressure yeah work around like well we wait and it's funny the though, the right? the and <laughs> it's funny <laughs> how we sit here and think fuck yeah sometimes that song sounds a bit similar to uh to that one so in a set we'll change it i'll put it there how many times you've gone and seen a band live to play the same song Five times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not going to name any bands, but I just I find a lot of bands they'll go like, "It's our next song," and then like me and Hard Mike joke and go, "It sounds just like the last one." <laughs> <laughs> and that's not because it does, but it's it's that similar that if they just separated it, you wouldn't think that. that's the thing. Yeah, and there's us like, what? that sounds too similar. Let's create a whole Let's fucking up, different yeah. part of the song. For that. I think we've done. Yeah, we've done that a few times. We've we've we? managed six to eight songs pretty well in the sense that you you mix them up so much it sounds like a completely different set list yeah, yeah. not just dynamic. the order the dynamic it's nice to be yeah. dynamic changes. isn't it and then obviously we change how we go into a song where we break where we talk mm. you know changing enders at the last minute or changing intros just to make it sound different well the whole fucking set is really important to us like how what you know going into a song is like massively important oh you how, think about it don't we how does that yeah. song instead of us stopping and chatting yeah. shit how does this song mold into the next one yeah. And us bring that to life yeah. and people know it's a different song yeah. without stopping. And where can we change mm-hmm. energy levels and stuff? Yeah, and know. James is a big, big part of that, you know, yeah. like he wants to Tell us more, James, about James, 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 James
you know, what we do in a song, like taking on a bit of a journey, we want to do that within our set as well. Yeah. yeah. And so I think, you know, you come up with well, I don't really come up with it, you just pick up things from other bands, what they do live, and so just see what idea. works. <laughs> well, so you're a thief. <laughs> totally. I, I kind of take it, but... He's a phony! <laughs> hey everyone! Be, this guy's fair, a phony! To be fair, I have, I've, live, I've taken a few ideas from people that I've seen, I've thought, fuck me, that was fantastic. I would love to take that and do that within our sets, but what the fuck's, you know. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? People inspire people. Inspired, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Nothing we're doing right. is original. Nah. But well, it's, it is in a sense, it's original music, but we've all been inspired by other people, right? Yeah, so exactly. It's never going to be like brand, brand new. And that, that, that's one thing I do like, that we don't care that much about that. Like all these fucking record labels and stuff put on their fucking uh, a buy here sort of page. Are you the next most different fucking weirdest out there craziest new sensation fucking no because we don't want to all sound like skin dread fucking raping a cat <laughs> like we want, we make no offense to skin dread but we're just making dogs. we're just making shit we enjoy and it's it's different every song's got something massively different about it and it's personal running about this is personal our own shit yeah well yeah. I, I think what has done us well is we're just ourselves and yeah, yeah. It comes across like everyone knows we're not just a band for the sake of being a band. We're mates. We've got a lot of yeah. Toge just, togetherness. Yeah. To say, yeah. Together. Yeah. And people say it's out. No, we, we laugh about it. People say, it, don't they? They say you look together and you look like mates. So we don't. We don't try and do anything different. We don't try and be anything. We just do it for the cameras, though. <laughs> 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 oh, oh no! What does it mean? It's still recording. It's uh, okay. It's still recording. Okay. What percentage is it on? All right, throw me my charger. Just there. Keep this on the video, mate. What? Um. It's real. But yeah, where are we at? We're digressing again. You lot chat shit too often, man. No, we're talking about togetherness. I'm no, messing about. We're talking about set lists, which basically uh, translates our personalities. Yeah. Yeah, but what, um... <laughs> <laughs> but what, um... And how we deceive you all. <laughs> so when we went to record this? Yeah, we changed up quite a bit. But that's why like, I say it's good to learn the songs during the recording. Because like, he comes up with like, the little intricate guitar parts that we have to follow. And we have, like... Well, we learned, didn't we? Because the first EP... We'd been jamming, what, Here Comes a Night for a couple of years, whatever. Yeah, it was just a song. And I, we sat down to record, and we was like, well, this is what I play. And I was like, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> this is completely different to what you play! Yeah. And we, we got a bollock in off us, didn't we, really? Like, oh, you can't turn up here changing things last minute. Nah. So then now we... Well, you can, you can, you can, you can change... <laughs> yeah, we just keep <laughs> shit. <laughs> he said you can change things last minute. But you can't come here and not know what you're fucking doing. No, I know, yeah. <laughs> what I mean is, yeah, that, no, yeah, we, we sit Wait, down now and go, hold up, just to be clear, I always thought we were doing this, yeah, and, yeah. this. and then we go, actually, how about <laughs> doing this? You yeah. know what I mean? But no, it's a, it's a, we haven't actually different. played this one that much live. We've played it a few times, but it's not the one we throw out there well, not lately. at the moment. I think we're trying to hold back a little bit on it. Yeah, this is one of the songs where like we'll play it if we've got enough time. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's but also we're keeping it, we've kept it back a little bit because we don't want to we don't want to play our all of our new songs that often. We're still living the year of the first EP. Yeah, you know. So we're bringing it bring in. You know, like, if there's a yeah. lot of thrash in there already, we're like, okay, well, how about we bring in exactly. a slower song like Ragnarok or a Passing? Yeah, we, yeah. Shake it we up step a bit. out that and we well, uh, bring a heavy one in. Because it was so raw before, it was the one we were happy to leave out. Yeah. If we needed to leave the song out, because it yeah. wasn't complete. Yeah. And then when we did beef it up and change it, then it was like, oh fuck, it's actually quite hard to play. Yeah. <laughs> let's fucking yeah. let's yeah. nail this yeah. down and get yeah. it. We're not gonna, we don't play something unless we play it well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, man. But no, that's deceived, really, isn't it? Just desperate. <laughs> See, I'm so glad. <laughs> I said it. For <laughs> <didn't even laughs> <cause it. laughs> fuck's sake. So what I live with. Any, anything else to add to the, what is it? That's That's uh, no, I don't think so. Wrist for dope. Sounds good on recording. Sounds good on recording. Yeah, yeah. I think people can enjoy it. I love this. Personally love this. Um, well, it's the first, I think it's, it's the only track we've got where you've got like the echoey ve vocals on the yeah, chorus. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I really, Powerful really like the chorus yeah. on this. It, yeah. It's brung out very Singing well. Singing's great yeah. in as well. Mate, your, yeah, your yeah, vocals in this EP have stepped up. Everyone I've played it to have said, fuck me. Yeah. Ben's got up a gear here. That yeah. personally, yeah, that's what I was. I, my biggest achievement with this one is that I think I've kind of got my sound sound, because obviously that what is probably the tenth song I've written. 
Don't bring his ego up too high. <laughs> no, 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 it's all right. We'll kick you when the camera goes down. Bring my ego up. But no, no, it's, uh, it's cool. Uh, no, I really enjoy it. It's, it's fun to play live and it's got fucking energy. It's fucking but yeah, man, that was... Desperate Screams. Desperate, Desperate Screams. screams. <laughs> Formerly known as um, Timothy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks, for, thanks, <laughs> thanks for checking it out. Um, new one, next one coming up, the final one. Um, but yeah, go back, check the others out if you haven't seen it, and then catch you there.